What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix the issue when Rocket League gets stuck on the loading screen on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, make sure that your files are complete and up to date. Close Rocket League from running and open up your Epic Games Launcher. Here, in your options for Rocket League, select Verify. This will take a minute to re-download and reinstall missing or corrupted game files. In case the error persists, then open up your file explorer and navigate to the drive on which you save the game on. Under Program Files, Rocket League, Binaries, Win64, right click the Rocket League application to get to its properties. Here in the Compatibility tab, make sure to run the program in Compatibility Mode 4, Windows 7 and disable full screen optimizations. Don't forget to apply your changes. Your firewall or antivirus application could also prevent you from properly playing Rocket League by blocking parts of the software. Search for Firewall in your taskbar search to open up your firewall and network protection system settings window. On this window, select to allow an app to firewall. Select to change settings and then allow another app. Select browse and your file explorer will open up. Navigate to the drive on which you save the game on. Program Files, Rocket League, Binaries, Win64 and here select the Rocket League application and select Open. This will allow you to exclude the application from being blocked by your firewall and will for some users prevent the issue. You should also prevent certain applications from running when trying to launch Rocket League as these could change your game files or trigger a crash on startup. Open up your task manager and in your processes tab, make sure to end the processes from running which could show an overlay such as Steam, Origin, your browser running in the background or Discord for example. You should also prevent applications which could change your game files in any way such as CCleaner and programs which could use up your available RAM and VRAM such as Adobe applications. Lastly, make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates system settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.